I want to ask you a question. Can you trust yourself? How many times have you made a promise to yourself and then never kept it? If you're like most people, you have likely made countless promises to yourself and not kept the majority of them. Whether that's saving money, losing weight, or finally leaving that toxic relationship or toxic job that you hate, you are making promises to yourself and you are breaking them. Breaking promises to yourself actually creates a lot of shame, a lot of guilt and disappointment and frustration that does not put you as a vibrational match for the things that you desire in your life. But don't worry, because after this video, I'm going to give you six strategies that's going to help you be able to keep promises to yourself and finally achieve the goals that you have always wanted to achieve. Hi, I am Nasaret Bawa, spiritual life and business coach, here for spiritual practitioners to be able to move past the limited thinking and create the growth mindset that's going to finally give you the life that you have always wanted. I do this with my six point reboot reality system that I have tested on myself and that I use on my clients and those clients that master the six steps of reboot your reality end up passing medical exams they thought they never could pass, meeting their true love, being able to create businesses, and also healing themselves from deep chronic illnesses. And that always happens and starts with overcoming limited thinking. Through the strategies that I teach in my coaching program, you actually are able to develop that growth and abundance mindset that can really have you being able to achieve things that you never thought that you could be able to do before. And by the end of this video, you're going to learn some of the strategies that I share with my clients in order to build trust. You have got to trust yourself because if you don't trust yourself, who can you trust? And what I can tell you, if you diligently start practicing the techniques that I'm going to discuss today, you are going to see a lot of changes in your life. So grab your pens and let's get started with the six strategies that you need in order to keep promises to yourself. Number one, I want you to really get to know yourself. So first you have to look at your past. What are the promises that you have made to yourself that you did not keep, right? This allows you to be able to look back and ask, well, what were the barriers in the way uh, that kept me from being able to reach those goals, you go ahead and you deal with that. So for instance, one of the reasons why I did not leave a toxic relationship for 18 years is because of my sense of unworthiness. When I started to address my sense of unworthiness, it started um, as little ways of me keeping my promises to myself regarding what I wasn't going to let my husband get away with, right? Maybe your issue was uh, 50 pounds. Maybe you've been making this promise to yourself that you wanted to lose 50 pounds and you kept breaking that promise to yourself. And one of those strategies is breaking things down to a smaller chunk. And I mean, even smaller than, oh, um, I'm going to focus on the first 10 pounds. Even that can be a larger goal. Start writing down the different strategies that it takes to be able to reach that 10 pound goal. Maybe it's eat a salad every day. So keep that promise to yourself. Maybe it's 10 minutes of walking. Break those down in small chunks, look at your past, see what your barriers are, and go from there. Number two, this is a huge uh, thing that so many people do. You know, thoughts and desires can sort of be really intangible out in the ether. But when you put them down on paper, it makes it real, right? We see this in ancient texts where it says, write it down on the wall and make it plain. Having those goals right in your face every single day allows you to remind yourself 
of the promises that you have made. And you know what? I have created a workbook. It's called What Do You Want Workbook? Sometimes we don't even know what we want or what it really takes or what the steps that um, we need to follow in order to reach our goals. So in this workbook, which you can go ahead in the description and download, it has prompts based off of different areas of your life, whether it's love, a better home, whether it's money, whatever it is. And there's questions in there that you can ask yourself and also a way that you can actually design a plan and you can be able to stick to your promises. So go ahead and download that free guide. I want you to have it because I want you to be able to build your dreams. Next, connect with your higher self and really get down to the nitty gritty. Is this something I should be working on? Do I really want this, right? Because many times we make promises to ourselves based off of societal constructs or based off of what our family or friends want us to accomplish. I want you to check in with your higher self. Ask, what is the pathway? How should I get here? You know, do I really want this? And what are the steps that, um, you know, are really standing in, in my way? I also think it's very valuable to sit down with your higher self and ask, what does staying in this specific behavior serve me, right? To a certain extent, when I was in that bad marriage, when I was in that toxic, toxic relationship, I stayed for so long because I was getting something out of it you know a warm body laying next to me so i didn't be uh i wasn't by myself you know a partner that you know was helpful in a lot of other areas of my life and so i compromised myself for these things that i thought that i couldn't provide for myself or that i couldn't possibly get from another person so sitting down with your higher self and really coming up with the reasons of do i want this really and why do you think higher self that I continue to put up with things that uh, don't bring me what I truly desire? And before I go, do me a favor. I would love to know what promises have you constantly broken to yourself that you keep telling yourself that you're going to do and you don't do them? Go ahead and let me know in the comments. Number four, this is a biggie. Really, it is. You got to ask yourself why you think it's okay to break a promise to yourself right? So many times, this is what I see what happens. You make a promise to someone else and I don't care how tired you are. You might not even feel good, honey, but you won't go out of your way to keep that promise to someone else. Why do you not have that same tenacity for yourself? There's somewhere deep down inside that believes that you're not worthy of keeping your promises to yourself. Like you don't deserve that, that it's not important important if you keep a promise to yourself but it's so important if you keep a promise to someone else mm, you gotta break that down and start thinking about that darlings i want you to work on changing your belief right now that the promises that i make to myself are actually more important than the promises that i make to others i also really when i work with my clients also tell them whenever you say yes to someone else you are taking away energy from saying yes to yourself, okay? So many times you're over giving to other people so you don't have the energy, you don't have the time, you might not have the resources to keep your promises to yourself. Let me tell you something, check your worthiness. Hey guys, I have some exciting news. As a mindset coach, one of the most important things that we need to be able to do as human beings is learn how to stop our negative thoughts so that we can be able to create the life that we desire. So I want to create this six-week challenge before we go into the summer, before we really start getting out there and creating. I want us to learn how to change our thoughts because thoughts become things in five easy steps. And before you know it, your thoughts are becoming beliefs. Those beliefs become the actions. And then those actions begin to channel how you are living your life. So take this time, join the Break Free Challenge. We start on April 3rd, six weeks of techniques and training from me so you can learn how to stop negative thoughts and create the life that you want to create. Go ahead in the description box and get the link so you can learn more. Number five. 
Woo, honey, I need you to accept that making changes in your life is going to come with a level of discomfort. We have such an aversion to discomfort that we are willing to stay stuck in situations and uh, just to be able to avoid discomfort. I talk so much on this channel about what happens physically in the body when you start changing your behaviors, right? You are a chemical machine. And so anytime you change a mindset or change a behavior, you are going to have some level of discomfort. Watch my video about the six things that happen in your body when you think negatively about yourself. You're gonna create a certain type of chemical cocktail. Well, when you start changing your behaviors, that chemical cocktail also changes and that can give the body a sense of withdrawal. Plus, let's face it, if you leave in a toxic relationship, being able to do things on your own and not having someone next to you, that's going to be uncomfortable, but it will pass. The thing about avoiding discomfort is that is a habit that you have simply taught your body how to do. Now you have to teach your body the habit of confronting those discomforts. Number six, you have to start thinking just for a second, right? You are in relationship with your higher self. You are in relationship with source energy. So I want you just to pause for one moment. And I want you to think of a time when someone made a promise to you and they did not keep that promise. How did that feel, right? This same type of energy is exchanged with source energy, with your higher self when you break promises to yourself. So this is what your soul source then does. Your soul source wants you to experience you, okay? So you may tend to attract people that are constantly breaking their promises to you, right? Or you're around people and you see that. This is how the higher self allows you to experience what it feels like to give you the necessary contraction. So the next time someone breaks a promise to you, I want you to think and say, huh, what type of promises have I been breaking to myself? Have I been promising my higher self that I'm going to do yoga and then I don't do it? Have I promised my higher self that I'm going to go ahead and start this business and I never start it? You got to really put yourself into your higher self shoes or your higher self is going to create an experience in your reality so that you can know how it feels. And the only way that you can stop attracting people that are breaking their promises to you is for you to stop breaking your promise to your soul source, to source energy. You got to know that your desires are a download from the universe. It is a map. Your desires are a map to you being able to live and accomplish your greatest life. I want you to know that this is so important because you keeping your promises to yourself is one of the most important things that you do. And when you don't do that, you actually create a lot of damage and a lot of disconnection from your higher self. You begin to not trust your intuition. You begin to not trust yourself, which then allows you to isolate because when you don't trust yourself to make the right decisions about the people that are around you, about the job that you're supposed to go, the place that you're supposed to be, then you will actually isolate because if you can't trust yourself, I promise you, you will not be able to trust anyone else. I need you to treat yourself like you matter. I need you to treat yourself like you are the most important person because you are. Let me ask you a question. Do you feel stuck in negative thinking? Do you keep breaking promises to yourself and you just can't do it? That's what I am here for. I am here to help you overcome those negative and limited mindsets that keep you stuck in realities that you no longer want to be in. I am actually starting this program called Break Free. It is a six week challenge of changing your mindset. I'm going to give you some really key strategies in order to be able to do that. And guess what? If you enroll in Unveil Your Path Academy, my spiritualpreneur 
uh, coaching program, you will get the six week challenge as a part of your enrollment fee, right? You guys know right now, I'm opening this new program called Unveil Your Path Academy, specifically for people who hear the divine calling to make money being them. So whether you're still working your job or you need a side hustle or whatever, your purpose, the reason why you were born you can actually make money that way, right? You can make money being yourself. I have made um, quite a lot of loot over the last three years just being me. And as I am looking to expand my business, I want to help you be able to achieve at least what I have achieved. I need you to start your business. In 2010, Spirit gave me an idea for a spiritual business, but I did not have the mindset to be able to make that happen. So in this program, in 90 days flat, okay? 90 days. I know I said six months, but Spirit said, no, ma'am. I need these people living into their purpose before the end of the year. So this is what I have done. We're going to do six weeks of time management, self-discipline, you know, growth mindset work. And then for the next six weeks, we are going to set up your offer, set up your niche. We are going to get your website up. I'm going to teach you all of the back end to automate your business and set up the marketing strategies for success. And then this is what I'm going to do. After we get your business set up in 90 days flat, I'm going to give you uh, three more months of a mastermind where we will meet at least once a month, maybe more, depending on what's going on, where I can make sure that your business is running smoothly and you're working through any tweaks that you need to work through in order for you to be a success, honey. We need spiritual people to be living in their calling and make a living being them. And again, if you join before March 31st, you're going to get the six week break free mindset challenge as a part of your enrollment fee. And if you are not a spiritual preneur, but you really want to work on your mindset, become a growth mindset, become a person with an abundant mindset so you can create the life that you've always wanted to create. I want you to join the six weeks break free challenge because it is time to break free from limited thought. I'm Nasaret Bawa. I will see you on the next video where we'll be talking about more strategies to overcome limited thinking so that you can live in your purpose and finally have the big wins in your life.